Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Samurai Warriors Speed of Sun on the series GG. So, so off screen I did um, the first mission twice. Because the first time through I didn't get any Sonata coins. It was annoying. Uh, second time through I made sure to do all the stupid little objectives. If you remember way back, it includes finding, you know, night assault captains and beating a certain character the Musou and blah blah blah. I still only got up to five coins, but I'm like at five five point nine coins and it's enough. I'm not gonna have five stratagems to do in any one fight. So let's continue on. Um, the stratagems are like a little bonus thing. You don't have to use them. I just kind of feel obligated to try to showcase them because, you know, LP. Take care. But yeah, maintaining a constant, like grinding off screen to always have enough Sanada coins to use every stratagem is not at all necessary to play the game. Um, frustrating thing about that first battle is even playing through, like I was playing through with, first time through was with, uh, I think I used Yukimura, and then I played through as Kunoichi, and it's like, yeah, they're way over leveled for that. They still can't get an S rank unless you're really, really, really careful because. I wasn't killing enough enemies because I was in a hurry. But more importantly, I got a I got a low score for damage taken by wards, which is just like that's a map where you gotta sit there and babysit people for them not to take any damage. Or full clear this one area before that your your allies even get there. And it's just like I guess I shouldn't complain. It's a game where it's not at all difficult to just win. But they make it really frustrating to actually get S rank on anything, because there's always something where like if you take the time to do this objective, you're going to lose out on the speed objective. <laughs> you know, but whatever. So this is the Battle of Hachigara Castle. Hachigara Castle, guarded by the formidable Ujikuni Hojo and his intrepid men. I whatever. There's so many freaking Hojos, and all their names start with a U, so I never know which one's which. How will the Toyotomi army lay siege to this almost impenetrable fortress? Uh, we must defeat Ujikuni Hojo and destroy the morale of the enemy forces. Well, we got a pantheon of people to choose from. Um, let's see. Restore the health of this person. Restore the health of this person. Res use Kunoichi. Okay, so we do need to use Kunoichi here. Uh, but we have some liberty as who we want to choose as our second. Uh, we want to claim victory before a single Kanagard captain is defeated. and Defeat all enemy soldiers. Defeats achieved, use Ina to defeat Lady Ayakawa. Well, there you go. I guess I have to play as Kunoichi and Ina if I want to do all of those. But wait, one of them is Halt Lady Ayakawa, the other one is Defeat Lady Ayakawa. So this is a feat. This is a stratagem. Okay, so I probably don't have to play as Kunoichi to do that stratagem. I think I'm... Okay, got it. So, what we'll do is we'll play as Ina and uh, Aya, because it's fun to play as these characters, and we won't get that many more chances to do so. This will also make things more difficult than if I used uh, Kunoichi, but whatever. Let's get together and talk about how much we hate Kunoichi, because of course in our last plot battle, we had this goofy thing with Kunoichi teaming up with these ladies. All right. Equipment-wise, Ina's weapon is significantly better than Aya's, so Aya will be... Uh, I probably want to try to use Ina mostly, because uh, Aya will be significantly less powerful. Um, although Aya is using the correct mount. I must have used her in, like... Yeah, that's right. I think I used her in one of those, like, free roam exploration things where we had to go defeat the immoral swordsman type of nonsense. Accessories. They've got successories, guys. Everybody needs to be using the Golden Lion armor because it's pretty awesome. Um, Alacrity and Equestrian. I don't even know if it's worth having either of those having another item giving them either of those because I don't think it stacks. But I'm not doing that anyway, so it don't matter. This is nullification. Decreases enemy... Oh, whatever. I think just regular old fortitude is probably better for these under-leveled characters. I'm 
Musou and Spirit is better than Fortitude if you don't have any... If you don't have room for all of them, Musou and Spirit is good because they tend to be what you f call on when you're in trouble anyway. Oh, actually... Not that I ever use them, but, um... Her special skills, fire arrows, who cares? She temporarily increases allies' health and defense. So she actually... There's some characters who have abilities that are useful as far as, like, healing your allies to avoid, uh, you know... One of the feats is... Too big. One of the feats is you gotta, like, you know, not let allies' health drop. They could be good for that. Whatever. Anyway, again, our feats are... So when Lady Hayakawa... We probably don't want to fight her until the plot has had us do whatever the stratagem is. But then we got to use Ina. Otherwise, we just want to make sure we take care of our cannon guard captain. Or captains. We are split at two different starting points, which is interesting. Uh, so I might be jumping back and forth a bit here. And just basically defeat all the enemy officers. Got it. I think we can do this. First thing I'm going to do is switch to Aya right away so that she can go beat up a uh, standard bear. Shingen Sayo to something or other. The mighty Shingen never took down Hachigata Castle. A ragtag army of misfits has no chance. No chance in hell. I beg to differ. Yeah, I don't see an obvious place where Ina's supposed to go, so maybe the plot will give us something. Lower their morale and open the castle gates. Well, there is something on the map over over to kind of the east, vaguely east by northeast of where Ina's current position is. It's just like a big field with no officers. You're probably meant to go over there and just kill a certain number of generics to lower morale. But we'll have time enough to find out about that. The army of Torakotsu Honda will soon be arriving. Really? No, I don't think... I don't think... Uh, Mazuyuki is, is up for waiting for the Yasu guys to do it. Defeat the enemy troops at not okay. Uh, did he yell Ina or Mina? We can't allow ourselves to fall to a place like this. Okay. I switched because it had that little green uh, thing that suggests there's an objective you can do. But I'm not seeing what it is, so I'm switching back now. Whatever has caused the enemy's morale to decrease. Okay, that's just going to make it easier to kill these generics. So that's... If I'm ever redoing this for any reason, I probably don't need to bother with that. Take down Garrison first. Defeat whoever in order to secure the garrison.
You please defeat the standard bearer. Thank you. Oh wow, he's got fancy. I don't think we've heard his theme much in this game, have we? Looks like officers are now on the map that were not there a minute ago. Oh, wait, no, I don't want that. I want her going after. Okay, prevent the guard captains guarding the cannons from being wiped out by the time the preparations for the cannons... Yeah, I just need to get up here and protect them. A lot of plots happening, including Lady Hayakawa showing up, so we need to kill her with Ina. Prevent her from approaching Tadakatsu. Well, hopefully this stratagem will play out in time. Just us girls, eh? Stuff is happening too fast for me to keep up with, as usual, with the lack of um, English... Uh, sub. Or rather, dub. Alright, so... What's a big hurry? We don't have a little stats. as the girls. If the defensive units can be thinned out, the cannon's power will drop. We must keep everyone safe. So, I think... Yeah, we've gotten, we've gotten rid of the officers who were threatening the cannons. So we're probably good to, now that we've used the stratagem, I think I can have Ina go after Lady Hayakawa before she approaches Tadakatsu, which is apparently bad news. Because Lord knows Tadakatsu, there's no way he can handle Lady Hayakawa in battle. He'd be to totally overwhelmed. So, um... Now you can take this guy out. What? I can't go anywhere. I've been frozen by the power of Kuroichi's weirdness. She's been stopped by advancing from advancing by female soldiers. Interesting. Harming the common people is not the Yusugi way. These fools need to be taught the lesson. These fools can't put on the action mask correctly. Another reference for Bobo, who's not watching. Um, Alright, so let's uh, get hit in the face by Lady Hayakawa. Let's have you go after the standard bearer, and Ina will even the single gears in such defenses. Okay, so far so good. We have not used any of our restore health stratagems yet, and uh, that suggests plot events will make those necessary, but right now they don't seem to be necessary, and I'm happy with not worrying about them. And feet wise, defeat all the enemy officers and don't let the guard captains die. That seems doable. Let's save, just so that if I suddenly am like, far afield of uh, the guard captains and they die, I don't have to redo the entire mission. If that feels like cheating to you, so be it. I'm just like, eh, I don't want to do the whole thing over again if suddenly there's an ambush on the guard captains. That It's not like military... 
It's not like, oh, you should have seen ahead that there could have been an ambush change. He's like, no, at any moment in any game, they could, like, Fuma appear someplace he couldn't possibly have gotten to and kills everyone. It's just the nature of samurai warriors. If you don't know what's coming, you can't always be at exactly the right place to prevent it in the ludicrously short time limits you were given to do so if you want to get the feats and objectives. So we'll do a quick interim save, and, um... Who is on the map that we could... So she's going after a standard bear. Uh, otherwise, the only officer that's nearby, I mean, Ina could go after this guy, so let's do that. I remember that the people of Ottawa haven't given up hope yet. Yeah, well, you should. We must defeat their commander, okay. Oh, maybe that turns out to be this guy, that'd be nice. Defeat Nadza, whatever. Oh, did I already get him? Maybe I already got him. That would be handy. Claiming the air. Hmm. Nagakatsu Mizuno. I think that maybe that's the guy I just got. I think it is. I think by defeating him without defeating the peasants, I, I happened to approach from the correct angle that made that easy, which is convenient. Meanwhile, I really don't want Ina accidentally killing peasants. The guard captains are in trouble. But I've only got to last another minute, guys. Come on. Guard cats have recovered by using the provisions from whatever castle. Oh. I think we still lost one though. Yeah, we lost one. Okay. Well there you go. I guess I I guess I did pick a good time to interim save. Because um we need to we need to beeline for those guys and ignore the peasant thing until later. We probably hopefully have time to worry about that later. It may be that uh, I was too late in that interim save to actually prevent the can the guard captains from I thought I took out I took out all the officers. I guess I needed to clear out generics even more. Yeah, it's these, it's these Hojo guys here. Hattori Hojo. Oh, you were apparently out of range. That should do it? This guy's still not in great shape. You know, to be on the safe side, I should park here. Because this one guard captain is way out ahead of where the rest were. I'm frustrated by the... Uh, fact that I haven't already beaten, um... Oh, here's the guy. We'll just let Aya do it instead of Ina. Amy, Amy Nagakazu Mizuno has been defeated. Get the F out of here, you guys. Who do you think you're kidding? Alright, who is left? At the moment, just the main commander guy. Um, and we may not have, okay, so I might not bother to restore health of guard, cannon guard captains, because they haven't gotten in trouble.
一刻も早くこの場を去るのだ。The Kyonans, we fight those peasants. I mean, wait, that's not <laughs> That's a nice voice actor there. <laughs> We're dominating these guys like peaceful protesters. It's great. Feels so good to share the love of our cannons. I'm assuming this is going to open at some point here, game. Looks like something. I don't even see what. So some of those stratagems we unlocked never even applied because... The people whose health was supposed to be uh, increased didn't get in trouble. This battle has gone on long enough. He's saying something along those lines. Gone on long enough, yeah. It's fine to defeat the Kun uh, Uji Kuni. Because, um, like, one of the stratagems was restore the health of Toshiie, Kakakatsu, and Mazuyuki. They never got in trouble. So either there's a plot thing that's about to happen, which is entirely possible. Suddenly, uh, it's entirely possible that suddenly. Uh, because we haven't heard a thing from Fuma in this battle. He might just show up and, like, the You Are In Trouble music plays because of a big plot twist thing. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to showcase the stratagems if I wipe out the threat before the stratagems become necessary. I, I feel okay about not doing that. Okay, here we go. So, I won't get the thing where we defeat all officers if I don't take these guys out. Because suddenly there's a whole bunch more officers than there used to be. Like, oh yeah, all these reinforcements just showed up. So, we need to take them all out. Um, it only makes sense that Aya should look after her, um, her little baby boy. Otherwise... We just got to take out all the officers here in order to get the last feat. Which means even though we could win the battle, now we just got to go fight off all the reinforcements first. How long do they intend to resist? What the hell? Do the people at Owari even know what's going on here? The fastest way to kill these guys is probably just to get Ina with full Muso and uh, Spirit because I think that gives her weapon bonuses. Um, otherwise, the, the issue is going to be not letting their health fall. Feet wise, we don't have to worry about it uh, because I don't think we get credit for the claim battery before it's. I don't think we get credit for claim victory before a single guard captain is defeated because we haven't claimed victory yet. But I believe the guard captains... No, they, they're still on the map. Never mind. They could still be defeated. I need to be careful about that. So it's real, But really, it's just defeat all enemy officers, and we've got it. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anybody up here still threatening the guard captains. They should all be charging in after the commanders. Go after him. He's he seems like the one most likely to actually get to um, a position to be a threat. I really don't want to have her just guarding him because this feels like time is being wasted where we should be moving after an objective. Yeah. 
That's one down. So where's the next closest one? Oh, jeez. They're already on top of... Uh, uh, Usugi guy. What's his name? I mean, I'll get there pretty quick, eh, dude? Oh, he's like flying his Superman over here. See how super powerful he is? He's flying around all weird when we kick. First shit up. Alright, so you, um. Why does she want to come here? The guard captains are off the are off the map now. Tadakatsu is down there fighting Ujikuni. So we need to take care of all these other officers before he takes him out and uh, messes us up by winning too quickly for us to do all the side objectives. How can I be so strong? Easy. I uh, Pilates. Seems we've been outmatched. Yep. Sure have. You have assessed the situation correctly, sir. Boy, it's a different game when you're actually doing these battles and not just having 800 dialogues with Cha Cha. I don't know which one's more fun to watch. The dialogues can be more fun to comment on, but as far as actual gameplay goes, this is a lot more enjoyable than just wandering around talking to Cha Cha, I have to say. So. I think we may be down to just uh, the two people that Ina's already cornered and the boss. So. Switch. Thank you for stabbing me in the face. Oh, you think I forgot about that game? Yes, I do realize that the big red, uh, this is the boss of the level icon down there in the castle is what we need to do now. I get it. That's it. Now we're down to just him. So, I could switch to Tadakatsu and win this, I would. I don't know what that keyhole logo is, actually. See this, like, yellow background with the black? I'm not sure who that represents. Maybe that's the Meta? I don't know. Anyway, there's Bob Honcho. Alright, Dad, let me show you how this is done. I think you're a good warrior and all, but... Oh, never mind. I didn't even get to do her super move, so I killed him too quickly. I've taken care of another scoundrel. And I got the whole world in slow motion as I burn with power and no cell cannon shots of the face. Are you proud of me, Daddy? Oh, Daddy. I filled a Fender Castle. I suck. <laughs> Wish I could disagree with you, friend. There we go. So I think we got all the feats. We didn't get to do all the stratagems because they just didn't show up. But we claimed the Impenetrable Fortress. We cleared Mount Karuma. We not just any garrisoned. We prepared the cannons. We cruelty and clemencyed. And we assisted. Helped. Yeah, see, damage sustained by Wars B. Like, what did you want from me in this game? Whatever. As long as we get all the feats, I'm happy. And our feats are too big. Ina didn't level up and all that? I think she, well, she probably did, and I just can't tell on this screen. Now, if we keep using uh, Aya, I might have to actually upgrade a weapon some more, but I imagine we won't have that many more chances to use her. I'm not so sure about Ina, because I don't think... Once the Sandra and the... Uh, 
Tokugawa are thoroughly on opposite sides. I don't think we'll be doing any missions where we're playing as Ina or um, Nobuyuki. I, that's my impression. Okay, we actually leveled some stuff up, including the one that I used to use in gathering materials. So now I never bother to gather the materials anymore. The Toyotomi army moved steadily forward, taking down the Kihojo outposts of Matsuida Castle and Hijigata Castle. I know. I just did that. Meanwhile, the main force approached Oara Castle via the Tokayado, where Godzilla is attacking. At the same time, Masamune Date of Oshu, on whom the Hojo had been pinning their hopes, committed his support to Hideyoshi. I don't know whether Masamune actually... I don't know if the Hojo were relying on Masamune or not. But obviously, if they were, I mean, I'm surely, I'm sure they would hope that he would be on their side. But um, yeah, I don't think they were relying on him. Is if they were, then obviously it didn't go that way. Surrounded by rank upon rank of enemy soldiers on all sides, the Hojo clan was isolated with no hope of relief. Nevertheless, the Hojo still continued to resist. I think um, Locutus, Locutus of Borg might have something to say about that. We have no choice but to launch a full-scale assault on Odawara Castle. The casualties that both sides will suffer. You won't allow it. On the eve of the attack, on one of the final remaining outposts, Hachioji Castle, Toshiye Meida made a difficult decision. Oh, we got some all fancy new stuff. As a result of the feats achieved in the previous battle, the stratagem identify the locations of the rifle captains has been unlocked. Oh, cool, we can get their neighbors to sell them out and give us information. As a result of the feats described in the previous battle, the stratagem threaten the peasants in the southeastern garrison has been unlocked. Interesting. Threatening the peasants is probably a, a nicer guy strategy than just butchering them. And we've got landing at Izu. Restore the health of the supply soldiers. Oh, sorry. Use rumors. Appoint Yoshiaki Kato. We can. We're supposed to be trying to reach the target destinations. Claim victory before the health of the player character falls to half. Well, I sure hope I have some options there who aren't like at level 10 with no weapon development. Claim victory before an officer is defeated, and try to win quickly. Again, none of these. None of these uh, feats are tied to unlocking specific stratagems, so I'm not going to worry too much if we don't achieve them all on the first try. Or rather, what I should say is I'm not going to worry too much about achieving them on a second or third try. Um, and we are just about the right length for video, so when we come back next time, we will continue the conquest of Odawara. It looks like this this chapter is just going to be a whole lot less jibber-jabber than the last one, because uh, it feels like we're getting pretty close to the end. But we'll know more next time. See you then.